uh, we are trying to uh, access some of the locations uh, uh, which are completely cut off uh, because the roads are uh, completely blocked and the only way to access those locations is by boat. <laughs> Many other boats, this is one of them. Uh, and it roughly takes about uh, an hour and a half, two hours, uh, depending on the flow of the river. It takes about two hours to get to the destination. So you can imagine how difficult it is to get the food supplies uh, to the uh, destination that is uh, planned out here, that is in situ. Now we have reached up uh, Siju and uh, it took us about two hours to get here and this is the first location as I said this is cut off from both sides hence uh, the only way to get here is to get uh, through boat and uh, that's what we are and now we're going to walk for a few kilometers and then see some of the affected areas. Gotcha. As you can see the water has come up to this level all the electric lines been destroyed and even the forest area has been destroyed. This whole road is gone. Can you imagine the force of the water? That this is where the water's road ended. Or rather this is where the road was and it's whole thing has been washed out. So literally this is like just in the middle, both sides completely disconnected. So we are still on our uh, you know, movement from Siju towards William Nagar Road and you can see there's still a lot of devastation everywhere and the main reason this is happening is because both sides are cut off and from neither side uh, are big machines being able to come to clear these roads and that's where this entire place is just simply cut off. We have reached the part where the GCBs are now there. This is the part they have to clear and move further to clear the other heavy uh, landslides that are there.